To make a Facebow transfer using the Whitmix Facebow, first put the Quick Lock toggle assembly on the opposite side of the Nasion support. Tighten that with the thumb screw. Make sure that the Quick Lock toggle assembly is facing downwards and make sure your universal joints rotate freely. It's important at a couple of junctures here and here on the Quick Lock toggle assembly that when you make the bend for those particular parts that it bends in the slot in the side of the quick lock toggle assembly. For edentulous patients, use the edentulous bite fork. It can ins be inserted in the slot on the quick lock toggle assembly and then tightened into place. It doesn't really matter which way that you rotate it. It can be one way or the other, whichever is more convenient for the particular patient. Next, remove the bite fork from the face bow and heat up the tines of the bite fork with your Hano torch, with a butane torch, or with a Bunsen burner. Then insert the heated bite fork into the wax rim. Make sure to insert it so that it's parallel with the occlusal rim. Then heat up your number seven wax spatula and melt the wax around the tines on the bite fork so that it's sealed to the wax rim. You don't want the wax rim or the record base separating from the bite fork when you're making your face bow transfer. Seal that well so that it can't move in the wax rim. Explain to the patient what you will be doing before you begin. Next insert the record base wax rim attached to the bite fork into the patient's mouth. Seat it firmly and then have the patient assist in stabilizing the record base using the thumbs on the occlusal surface of the wax rim. They should do that on both sides and move their fingers out of the way as we place the face bow. Normally you will remove eyeglasses from a patient who wears them. In this case the eyeglasses won't interfere with our face bow transfer. Next attach the face bow to the bite fork and insert the earpieces into the external auditory meatus. Rotate the nasion support so that it is oriented properly Make sure that everything is aligned properly. Press the nasion support into the nasion. Have the patient support the face bow with their fingers on the side. And make sure that you can tighten the quick toggle assembly to the bite fork. Make sure that's secure. Make sure everything's oriented properly. Then use the single toggle bar at the anterior portion of the face bow to tighten. As you do this, use your other hand to help support and prevent torquing of the face bow on the patient's face. Once everything is tightened and the orientation is confirmed, you can start to remove the face bow from the patient. To do this, you'll have to release the central thumb screw in the center of the face bow. Then remove the ear pieces from the ears. Release the pressure or the suction from the record base and remove from the patient. Remove the toggle assembly from the face bow. We're going to use an indirect mount, so place the face bow aside. Put the metal plate in the mounting ring before you place it on the articulator. You'll find it goes into place much easier. Place the indirect mount on the articulator and put the magnetic cast support on top. Then take the toggle assembly that you've removed from the face bow and tighten it onto the indirect mount. Then take the mount support the cast support, twirl it till it's supporting the record base. Take your master cast, support the, the wax rim from underneath and make sure it's fully seated into the record base. Take the articulator support strap and screw it in to the toggle assembly. Then close the articulator and make sure that you have room for mounting plaster between the cast and the mounting plate. Now we're ready to attach the cast to the mounting plate. We'll use facet plaster to do that. We'll do a preliminary attachment just in the center of the ring. Then we'll add some extra plaster around the edges to smooth things out so it's nice and tidy. 